Alright guys, so as you know, this is the LAM material. And the LAM material sucks all FPS and life out of your uh, system. Oh wait, it doesn't. Not anymore. Um, from what I've done, I've actually been able to optimize the shit out of this thing. To the point where it's uh, pretty damn usable for almost anybody. Now, in high areas like this where you're surrounded by tons and tons of foliage, you're going to have a problem. So honestly, it's best to decrease the amount of trees that you have. And you can still make it look really, really good even when doing this. So that's what we're going to do. Because I've been meaning to adjust both of them. So first we're going to start in the grass variable around 13. Right here, the pine tree. We're going to put this at 0.2% stat. And for the ground plants, they can stay at 100. And that can just go back to being 100 as well. The flat palm can just be 2. And that could be 1. Okay. And we have final one, which is these red flowers. Let's bump those up to 400%. Oh my god, look at all the red flowers. It's like blood. It's pretty. Let's just put those at a uh, 1. Now, grass 2. I never put anything grass to. Let's clear out grass three there. So we have to actually find the player start and delete that. Because um, I want the player start to be heading towards that citadel right there. So we're going to pop that right there and hit play. <laughs> Not bad, huh? For bald spot areas like this, I like to actually, um, do that. And then we're going to drop in uh, a good old-fashioned mesh here. There we go. I hope I have the right material instance on. I do. Okay, I'm kind of worried. And play from here. I built that mountain by hand. I loved it. can climb right to the top if we need to. It's what we're going to do. Forest right down there the entire time. Right now someone's going on a lightning spree on everything up to it so far. Thank you, Pentagrass.
Now, these trees are extremely low poly. Look at this. Look at that. So is this one over here, I believe. And that's where the optimization came from. Now, I am going to hopefully switch to lower textures. Not much lower, but low enough that, you know, it helps with the performance some. I've also removed lots of the polys from those rocks to the point where they're about they started at 7,000 polys which is kind of stupid for a rock and I brought them down to 500 to 1,000 I'm not really sure they're between there I've also taken some of the grass and I've done the same Jesus, someone's on the light it's pretty on my goddamn Twitter the sad part that I don't like is that I can only see some of the forest and not all of it I want to change that real quick. So we're going to go back to... Grass ones right here. Okay, so let's try... To bring this... Perfect. And I also want to do the whole pine tree one, but I don't really remember where I put it. Is it in grass too? Yes, it was. There we go. So let's continue. Let that load in. So there we have it. We are surrounded by grass, uh, by trees as well. So we can see all the way down there. We're good. I don't want to ruin the immersion or anything. I mean, look at that. That's just ridiculous. That's how well I optimize these trees in Maya. Freaking crazy, isn't it? And we're almost at the top. Long, long ways to go. And we're at the top. We're going to just look at this entire thing. Now, inside the land material, we can wipe out some of the... Um, trees down there if we wanted to. I don't want it to be a complete forest. So I can wipe out some. And I like that these trees are almost just falling right off the cliff edge. Okay, I'm going to try to trick shot this so I can go down two at one. Trick shot failed. Trick shot failed. So guys, why don't you tell me what you think about this little optimization quest of hell that I've decided to put myself on. Async uh, cleanup actually helps a lot. I mean, look, it's literally an endless forest. It's beautiful. Hey, it's console quality. It was at 30 frames a second just to go at 1080p, so I'm already doing better than Ubisoft. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good day, and uh, be sure to like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to stay here for some more content, and I will see you in the next video, which hopefully will be about more optimization. See you guys.